You've been in a lot of agencies. Yeah. So if somebody's watching this interview and they want to go into law enforcement, what's your advice for somebody like that? I would, I would uh, support it. I think it's, it's a great career, you know, especially, you know, the issues of what, five, six years ago, pre-pandemic, the whole social, you know, we had the riots and stuff and, you know, agencies, including us, it was getting hard to find applicants. We were still finding them, but just this kind of cultural turn on law enforcement based on some things that were occurring, which uh, I don't hear that as much anymore. I don't know what your experience is on whether agencies are still struggling to hire. Um, I would totally. Matter of fact, I've got a couple of young people now that I'm kind of mentoring a little bit that they want to, they're getting ready to graduate college or high school and want to get a criminal justice degree or they want to go into law enforcement. I had a lot of discussions with them, the pros and cons of it, but it's a great job. Yeah. Um, I would do it. I wouldn't change it one bit. I mean, I don't need to except I. maybe take that initial Marshall's office with it. I'm kidding. Um, no, I would, you know, it all turns out. Yeah. I had a good career and I was super fortunate. And, uh, learned a lot of things, did some cool stuff. And I, I had a fortunate career. I feel lucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wish I could have kept going, but I hit the age max and they made me leave. So yeah. You know, um, yeah, I would totally support it. Okay. Yeah. I, I wish, I, th I think my opinion you kind of see it already. A lot of the uh, agencies or parts of the country, especially some of the larger metro areas, you know, a little more liberal that were, you know, the whole defund police stuff. And you see it coming full circle now. Yeah. At least I have. I'm not following it closely, but Minneapolis or what, it, you know, just communities there. No, we need more police. You've cut them and now we have crime is rampant and the homelessness and our city looks like crap. And, you know, yeah. just what I've heard that you kind of see a little shift, things coming around. But even in probation prior, I don't know, mid 2015 or so, we used to get, you know, we had an opening in Boise or any, we'd get 25, 30 applicants from across the country. And, you know, then we'd interview maybe 10 or 12. Now, before I left, we'd maybe get 12 applicants and interview five. Mm. We were still finding really good candidates and officers that we hired, but we just don't have the pools and um, that we once did. And I don't, I assume it's kind of related to some shifts in cultural view of law enforcement. That's good that you were still having good quality applicants. Yeah, though. we're a couple of times we were really worried about it. Yeah. I'm like, God, we're only interviewing four. We need two out of here. And luck, we had like three awesome candidates, you know, mm -hmm. just it seemed we're getting them. It's just smaller numbers. Yeah. Um, which I hope that improves. Yeah. Because probation work, LE work, whatever it is, it's there's some good jobs. I mean it's for the right people. It's not for everyone. But, no, it isn't you know, for like, everybody, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So I hope that I hope that gets better. Yeah. Because there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah.